What's up guys? Welcome back to Leaf of Vapes. I'm Ray. Today we're taking a look at the I Care Solo. Yeah. We're going to take a look at it. Um, device. I got the black one. It's nice. Cute. Cuddly. About palm size. I've been enjoying it. Using it for the last week or so. And, uh, you know, it's got some clouds. Not huge clouds, because this isn't uh, all about the clouds. This isn't uh, all about cloud comps. This is the eye care solo. Nice pocket vape, nice starter vape. Easy to take with you, easy on the go. You don't have to have your big old mod. You can take this to a wedding. You can take it to take it to work. You can be somewhere and be be that courteous vapor. Better yet, you can be a new vapor with this device and a bottle of juice for less than 40 bucks. And I'll get that back to the price on that later in the video. But you can be a new vapor with this. Not have to buy batteries, not have to buy any accessories. Everything's included in this kit. So, let's not waste any time. Um, yeah, Leaf of Vapes is going to do a, a go down to the table and, and check something out. We're going to tear this apart. We're going to see what comes in this box. And uh, I'm going to show you how to replace the coil head as well. Um, please bear in mind, it may be shaky. It may be, the video may be weird. You may see my hands shaking, whatever. But this is me getting back into doing some hardware reviews. And for the first people seeing this, hey, that's what it's supposed to look like, right? So let's still go ahead and drop down and take a look at this. Okay, so here we have the iCare Solo. Comes in a nice green box from Eleaf. All your standard information on the side. Standard information on the back. Does have a scratch to check off the authenticity. As you can see, it does come in black, white, gold, cyan, and red. Um, the contents are the one iCare Solo, two 1.1 ohm coil heads, one USB cable and one user manual. Um, it does have maximum output wattage of 15 watts and it does have a 350 milliamp battery. So let's unbox it. And as you can see here, it does say they care for us. Or I care you. Maybe they say I love you. Who knows? Alright, so main attraction. We'll set that off to the side for a second here. Contents in the box. You have your USB cable. You have your user manual, pretty good user manual. It's got a couple different languages in here, how to use it, but this is pretty simple to use. Um, so we won't need to refer to that in this video. Um, here is the 1.1 ohm coil. As you can see, I've been using one that already came in. Comes in nice sealed packages. So we will uh, go ahead and replace that today. Okay, so here's the main event here, the iCare Solo. As you can see, you have your button right there in the middle. This is 11 millimeters by 18 millimeters by 104.5 millimeters long. And like I mentioned before, the output wattage is 15 watts max. Um, this e-liquid capacity is 1.5 um, milliliters. Weight is 31 grams, and the battery capacity is 350 ma. Um, very simple device. Plug it in, charge it up. Uh, as long as the light is on in the chamber and on the side, it is charging. When it goes off, it is done charging. Um, five clicks to turn it on. And you can see that it's on. It has a little light inside. Uh, five clicks to turn it off and also that button is used to push down when you're taking a draw off of it. Now the light inside uh, does have some meanings. When it is green it is at 100% to 16% charged. 
Uh, yellow is 15% to 6% charge, and red is less than 5%. So you need to pay attention to those lights. Um, I've had really good experience with this. It's not my daily, but I have been using this off and on for about uh, a week. And uh, I've still at it with the first initial full charge. So um, also, I am at it with the first initial fill up. We're about three quarters down on the reservoir with the coil head included. We are going to change the coil to the new coil that I have here. I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, so to change the coil is very simple. Uh, I'm going to get a... I'm going to get some paper towels here and put them down because there still is juice in this tank. So the first thing you do is pop off that. All right, now you can see that your the top of the head has flat side and then a rounded side. On the inside of your tool here, or of your mouth to piece, each side has a little uh, straight edge side onto it. And you can just slide it in and get it started to unscrew. Now, you can unscrew the entire thing using that or then use your fingers. I tend to like to do that so I can just rotate it here. And as you can see, this is your coil head. I'm going to place this just off camera here for a second so it doesn't spill any liquid out. So to change the coil head, you would just unscrew it. My fingers are going to get all covered with e-liquid, but that's alright. We'll put this down. I'm going to open up this package off camera. Just like, uh, kind of like a Paul's cough drop or whatever. Uh, but here is your coil. Now what you want to do, so I'm going to put this down here, um, just to uh, make sure that you prime it a little bit. And by prime it, I just put like a drop, two drops, right in through the top. Now, one drop is usually good. I'm going to let that soak in a little bit. If you put two, you treat this like any other uh, sub ohm tank, um, it's going to not take all the liquid. And there is the second drop that I put in there. All right, so that is there. We'll go ahead and seal that back on. And the screws are really nice. You just screw it, screw it on there. It's tight. So now all we have to do is put it back into the reservoir. But now you can see the reservoir has some space there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that up as well. Open up the bottle here. Um, the trick to this though is if you're using these uh, glass dropper bottles, add the drop slowly. If you have a unicorn bottle, they add up really nice and quick. So right now, I've added back up to that line. Not close enough. The reason why you want to worry about that is when you stick this in here, as you can see, your liquid displaces. And I'm going to just change hands here. And... Really, it's easier than this. It's just because I'm on camera. Get her started. Then you can take your tool again. And get her tight. Doesn't have to be tremendously tight. I just like, like to get it nice and tight. And then, all you have to do is pop on the tip again. There we go. And we are on. Now what I usually do is I will let this uh, sit for about five minutes so you can let the coil head breathe in liquid for, through its juice flow holes and um, 
you're all set to vape. Uh, maybe pull a couple uh, dry poles on it as well. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump back up top and I'll vape on it and I'll give you some final thoughts. Okay, thanks for going down to the table with me. It's been a while since I did that. So we're going to have more hardware reviews coming up this, this week, the next couple of weeks. I'm going to go over a whole lot more of these devices. Um, so I care solo. Um, I did, well, before I forget, um, I did say take some dry poles. I know maybe some new viewers are watching this, new, new to vaping users. So uh, on the sides of where your tip goes back onto the top, there are two air holes. They're very tiny. Um, you'll see them. All you have to do is just close those off, take a couple poles um, without pressing the button, and you'll pull juice more into those coils. Um, great way to make sure that even though you've sat for five minutes, maybe you were impatient, take a couple dry pulls and make sure juice is getting into that coil. I myself like to uh, let it sit for at least 10 minutes. So, um, But once it's ready to go, great little mouth to lung action there where you can pull right into your mouth and then inhale it. Or um, it does allow you to do a very restricted full lung hit. As you can see with the lung, uh, the full lung hit, you're gonna get a little more vapor. Now, um, what I wanna do is go down some the pros and cons of this. We'll start off with the cons because there's very little with that. Um, these coils, um, as any other small coils like this, um, sub on coils, myself, this is my experience. So um, I say they take at least a half a tank to go through before the flavor starts to feel right. So if you start pulling on it and it just doesn't taste how your flavor feels in other tanks, give it some time let the coil break in, let it get fully saturated in there, and then the flavor will come around. Um, I've been using, as you can see in the down below, I was using the Modus e-liquid, the, their new flavor, Riot. Uh, this is a higher VG juice. Um, can tell that uh, higher VG juice is not really the best for this. I had better results when I was using like a 60-40, 70-30, uh, 70 30 works really well in there. So that's another kind. You can't use really max VG juices in there. Um, otherwise, it's not going to pull in through that tiny coil as good as like a 60 40. Um, I have heard that some nicotine salts like Mr. Salty's, um, things of that nature, work really, really well for these. I'm interested in getting those in. And if they do work well, I'll update the video. Uh, with a little bit into the description on preferred juices to use. Um, also, you know, the the other con I had, this kind of subjective, you know, I said that the battery lasts a while. I uh, haven't had any issues with the battery life, but if you're ever out and about and this is all you have and you don't have a cable to charge it, that could be an issue. Uh, you know, like I take my Revenant out, I always have an extra set of batteries I can swap out, put them back in. Now, the other, pro, the other side of that is that maybe the first list of our pros, you don't have to have a set of batteries to go out. Say you're going to a wedding, say you're going to a picnic, what have you. You could have this and not have to carry around an extra set of batteries like you would with the Revenant. And also this is a nice, quick, convenient, and uh, let's say uh, kind of courteous vape. You're not going to blow the big clouds like with the, the Revenant. You're not going to do that and be around, like, say, a wedding, sitting outside. You can be the cool guy that is only using small, producing small vapor and not looking like, uh, you know, clouds broke crowds at, like, an event. So that's another pro on this is that you can be a courteous vapor uh, with these. Put a little higher nick in there, only step outside for a couple times, and you'll be good. Um, they are inexpensive, $13.95. Uh, link will be in the description to Element Vape. That's where I bought it. Uh, the battery life. And uh, 
like I said, no need for external batteries. Just going down my list. The juice usage with a coil is being a 1.1 ohm coil. The battery life is going to last because it only has to kick out the 15 watts. The juice is going to last because it doesn't take a lot of juice for this device. And uh, that's that's the best in both worlds. Maybe that's great when you're getting started in here. You bought a little inexpensive device for 13 bucks. You bought a bottle of juice for 20 bucks, and you're good to go to start your journey of vaping with just this under 40 bucks. And then, if this doesn't cut it for a while, you know, you, you see other people using other devices and you want to move on, you aren't out $100 for a starter kit. Uh, easy use, it's nice. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Um, do you make sure that if you are using this, going to put it in pocket or something like that, that you do hit those five clicks off because that button will fire. Um, nice singing on that with the button controlling the fire versus the iCare Mini. The iCare Mini is on a draw, and uh, some people said that they don't get that first initial and then they have to draw more on this. Um, also, other uh, issues with this one is being on a plane cabin pressure changes it activates a fire mechanism whereas this you turn it five clicks off it's going to be off um, so watch what you do with that uh, keep in mind the battery lights telling you how much charge you got left um, the coils are, are inexpensive you can buy a pack of them I, I think at my local B&M um, pack of five of them for less than ten dollars I think they're around eight dollars um, and they do produce good flavor once you get further through that first half tank. So other than that, those are my pros and cons on this. Um, would I suggest this to a new vapor? If it, they're in the shop and the shop has this and they're ready to give it a try, sure, I would tell them to give it a shot. It, it's not a bad device. It produces good vapor. It produces good flavor. Um, is it the best in the, the stick device? I would say it's ranking up there um, with maybe top three um, it's not the best but then again it's thirteen dollars it doesn't have to be the best to get you off the of smoking it has to provide that flavor and the good vapor production to stimulate what you need uh, so yes I would give this uh, two thumbs up because it does exactly what it says um, outside of that advocacy links will be down below make sure you do it hashtag do it you know I posted that video check that one out as well kazaa.org august8.org not blowing smoke all those get out there advocate we need to take care of it otherwise those new vapors the new vapors may be checking out my channel looking at this device we won't have these opportunities available for new va new vapors so outside of that we're gonna take one huge massive cloud off of this I care solo and remember, life is fucking awesome as long as you're not smoking. Until next time, you have a great one.